Okay, hopefully that wasn't too painful. No, Nick. We don't need you to step on the... No, Nick. I know you're trying to be helpful. Nick Knack, the helpful cat, is trying to take control of my laptop. He seems to think that if he dances across it, it's a good thing. But, but it's not a good thing. No, it's an annoying thing. Um, so this reading is called Alma Mater, Our Nourishing Mother. And I don't know about you, but when I think nourishment, I think of one song. Can you hear it? Smile across you, Alma Mater. Here we stand, your daughters and sons, bum bum bum, join together now as one, bum bum bum, honor, pride, and words I forgot. All these things I draw from you. Wando High School stand forever, one with us in heart and mind. There you go, kids. How many people have that on their laptop? This guy does. This guy does. Yes, they're going to be talking about the alma mater, the nourishing mother. And when I think nourishing mother, I think of Wando High School. There it is, pre-coronavirus. Yep, I think of Main Street. That's probably what it looks like right now. <laughs> Live shot. I think of the cafeteria. Ooh, wonderful tables. And I think of all the things that go on, whether it's uh, volleyball or walking in the foyer or going to the CAS or marching in the, in the band field. Uh, all that stuff is, is good times, good times. Um, so basically what we're going to see in this reading is a second form. Um, and, and, and what I did was I took the, the reading sentences you see before you and I've broken them into individual sentences that allows me to be able to comment on them individually in a much more meaningful way. And I just want to try and, and see if it works. Just like you are, I guess, nourished from Wando, or cursed, or however you feel about it, uh, these guys, uh, they were brought up in Rome. They're Romans. Uh, they are you know, products of Rome, they're going to Athens, and now they're going to be educated in a new way. And Athens, for most people, is the center of learning. It's kind of like um, uh, a lot of people feel that way about Duke University or, you know, the, some of the Ivy League school like Harvard or Yale. Uh, it's where you go to study. And so if you wanted to go to the top-notch place to study in ancient Rome, you'd go to Athens. And so that's what we're going to see. When they arrive in Athens, they're going to notice that there are many other Romans of the same age who are there to study as well. And study uh, is a couple of different things. Um, you're going to learn at the feet of a master. He's going to lecture to you, a la the great one, Jared Tyler. Um, but they're also going to go to the Agora, uh, the heart of Athens, and they're going to hear... Uh, court cases, and they're going to learn from that, and they're going to learn about law and precedents and um, the whole idea of, of um, how to make a speech, how to convince and persuade others to your point of view. Um, you're going to see this broken up into three chunks, so today you're getting chunk one. Um, and uh, so when you're through with it, um, I will take a look at it and respond individually inside of the forms. I'm assuming, and I could be wrong on this, and you'll have to tell me, I'm assuming that when I make corrections inside the forms, um, you can see them. Um, if this doesn't work, I'll know right away you'll get credit for doing the assignment, and we'll, sw we'll switch back to some kind of like a doc or form or something else. Uh, this is going to be an experiment for sure. Um, well, that's all I've got for you today. Um, you guys take care. Uh, try to get your work done in a timely fashion. Unfortunately, um, you know, we're going to be doing this for a while, and uh, so we, we've got places to go, people to things, and then content to conquer. Uh, so you've, you can't just, like, take three days off and expect to catch up uh, because, um, well, the lessons are getting a little bit longer, probably. But we'll see. All right, peace out.